G'day, g'day. It's Nick and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now, wildlife here in Australia, and all around the world for that matter, face all kinds of issues, from habitat loss to climate change, disease, overhunting, all kinds of things. But at least here in Australia, one of the biggest issues that our native species face is that of invasive species. The animals that we, human beings, have picked up from other countries, brought into Australia and just let go for various reasons. In fact, about 1,250 or 80% of all the threatened species we have here in Australia are directly impacted by invasive species. So over the next 10 videos, we're gonna break down a list of the 10 most invasive species in Australia, starting this week with number 10. So stick around guys, it should be a good list, it'll last a couple of weeks, but uh, there'll be some animals that you didn't expect on there, and there might be a few animals that you're surprised don't make the list, but it should be a very interesting series. Stick around, guys. So number 10 is actually feral cattle. Now, cattle, or cows, have obviously been in Australia since basically the first fleet, and today make up a huge part of the agricultural economy of the country. And we're not exactly talking about the domestic cattle, the herds of cattle that are managed by farms and stations, but feral cattle. And what this basically means is, particularly across the north of Australia, where we've got huge stations and really remote tracts of land that have had managed cattle ran on them, inevitably some cattle don't manage to get mustered. They avoid being rounded up or collected and gathered to be sold and castrated, moved from one paddock to another. Over time, these animals breed up, form their own populations. And today we've got tens of thousands of unmanaged feral cattle that essentially don't belong to anybody across the northern parts of central Australia. And these cattle have a fairly dramatic impact on native Australian animals. In the last few years, some scientists across northern Australia have looked into the effects of feral or unmanaged cattle. And what they found is in areas where cattle are living feral, they're not being you know, looked after, they're not being mustered, moved on, things like this. There's significantly less undergrowth. They're trampling and overgrazing all these low story plants, the shrubs, the long grasses, things like this. Now, what this does is not only removes the food that some of our native species want to eat, scientists have found that in these areas where this undergrowth is removed, the small marsupials, the middle-sized marsupials, they're more subject to predation by things like dingoes, foxes, feral cats, things like this. So because of this, the competition they present to native species and the removal of this habitat by eating and trampling the undergrowth, feral cattle today pose a direct risk to 39 native Australian threatened species placing an intense place for our most invasive species. So there you go, guys. The 10th most invasive species in the country is the feral cow. And I bet most of you did not see that coming. Now, the rest of the list we're going to cover over the next nine episodes. So make sure you keep checking on back. There's some things on there that I bet you've never even heard of. And I bet you there's some invasive species that you're shocked don't make the list. But... We should all learn something along the way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't, guys, already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But uh, check on back next week, guys, for number nine, the ninth most invasive species in Australia. See you there. <music>